afternoon. An inquest into the deaths of holidaymakers killed in the 2015 Tunisia shootings has got underway today. A total of 30 British nationals were gunned down. They included John and Janet Stocker from Crawley, whose grandchildren ran a social media campaign to find them, and David Thompson from Tadley in Hampshire. A British soldier will not face prosecution after the death of a colleague. Shoreham's Lance Corporal James Brinnan was killed on the battlefield in Afghanistan four years ago. Fellow British soldier Mark Kelly was not charged with homicide due to insufficient evidence. Southern Rail is to recruit 200 drivers, allowing it to run services, even if existing staff continue an overtime ban. A work to rule by Aslef drivers means one in four services are being cancelled every day. Police are searching the Isle of Wight for a man who has been missing since June. Robert Gibson left his home in London on June the 13th. He was spotted on the Isle of Wight later that day. Police are trying to retrace his steps and will search Luckham Road later after it was too overgrown in the summer. A new deal at Portsmouth's naval base will secure 200 jobs for the area. The multi-million pound deal with Lockheed Martin is for a helicopter surveillance system designed to protect Royal Navy ships. It will create and sustain around 200 jobs, very high value, high tech engineering jobs. About 60 in Havant with Lockheed Martin about another 60 down at Yeovil with Leonardo helicopters and the balance of that 200 being up in Crawley with Talis who are doing the mission system. Two councillors on the Isle of Wight have quit blaming government cuts. Council leader Jonathan Bacon and Deputy Steve Stubbings will leave with immediate effect. Both have said they can no longer deal with austerity driven cuts. Reading East MP Rob Wilson is to meet bosses at the Royal Berkshire Hospital about plans to close the hydrotherapy pool. 200 people have signed a petition, but the Trust says it must close it to invest in critical emergency and elective care. Well, let's take a look at the weather now with all the details this afternoon. Here he is, it's Simon. From puddles to paddling, driving through Europe. Euro Tunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, if you like your Mondays to be cloudy and damp, you're in luck because that's what we've had so far. Things will improve through this afternoon as this band of rain turns a bit more light and patchy. A lot of dry weather, but still a lot of cloud around. It's towards the east that we end up with the clearest skies as we head into tonight. That's where we'll get the chilliest temperatures. Temperatures could get down to around freezing in parts of Sussex and Surrey. Whereas further west, we've got a bit more cloud around and that's where temperatures will stay up to around three, four, maybe even five degrees. Certainly a dry start to tomorrow, but a bit of a cold one. As we head through the day, you can see the brightness develops from the east and spreads westwards. It's only the far west where we stay a bit grey all day. Euro Tunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. And remember, Simon, Fred and I will be here at six with all the ITV news, sport and weather in the Meridian region. But from the lunchtime team for now, thank you very much for your company. Hope to see you later on. Bye for now.